welcome to The Know, I'm Mika. I'm Ben. Has EA stopped making single player games? Well, we've seen it cancel a high profile single player project and now one former employee has possibly confirmed many gamers' worst fears that the giant publisher isn't really interested in anything that's not multiplayer these days. Say it ain't so. This is an issue that's been on the minds of gamers lately as the single player experience seems to be falling out of style, with some publishers more interested in multiplayer games with microtransactions that encourage players to stay longer and, of course, spend more money. On one hand, development costs for AAA games are getting higher than ever, but some frustrated gamers feel like publishers who put microtransactions in full price AAA games are just getting super greedy, but it sounds like that trend doesn't show any signs of slowing down, unfortunately. Who's ready for more loot boxes? Mm. With all that said, a former Bioware game designer says that traditional linear single player games are dead for the time being at EA, because there's just too much darn money to be made in multiplayer. That's according to ex-Bioware game designer Manveer Hare, who worked on Mass Effect 3 and Mass Effect Andromeda before leaving the company. On the Waypoint podcast, Hare said that EA is generally pushing for more open world games. Well, why? Because he said you can monetize them better. Specifically, he pointed to the success of card packs being added to the Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, which led to gamers spending shit tons of money. Hare said that it was the success of those card packs in Mass Effect 3 that changed EA's direction as a company. Hare said that the amount of money we made just off those card packs was so significant, that's the reason Dragon Age has multiplayer, that's the reason other EA products started getting multiplayer, that hadn't really been there before, uh, because we nailed it and brought in a ton of money. How much money, you may ask? Well, in one example, Hare said he's seen people literally spend, wait for it, $15,000 on Mass Effect multiplayer oh my cards. God, yeah, that's that, one person. That hurts. One person my heart spent a, a car bit. on oh. cards. Oh. Think about that. Oh. It's that kind of success, which he said has led to studios realizing they can make a lot of money with microtransactions, because remember, that's a car's worth of cards from one human being. He added, they don't actually care about what the players want, they care about what the players will pay for. And with gaming budgets sometimes going over $100 million or so, Hare says that there's no room nowadays for single player games with smaller budgets. And that's because he said, publishers in general only care about the highest return on investment. As of now, he said the linear single player AAA game at EA is dead for the time being. Now, if Hare's name rings a little bit of a bell, that's because he was caught up in a controversy over some racially charged tweets that led to a petition calling for him to be fired. But that's not what the story's about, just a little side note. Hmm, fun stuff. <laughs> On one hand, it makes sense why publishers love multiplayer games. After all, multiplayer games pretty much dominate the charts. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is a recent example, not to mention favorites like League of Legends, Dota 2, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and Overwatch, just to name a few. Multiplayer games theoretically never end, so the replayability is basically infinite. And infinite is a word that makes publishers drool. And while we love our multiplayer games, pretty much nobody wants to see single player games go away or spend car amounts of money on things. i sorry, I still can't go over $15,000. It's just so much money. Recently, the controversy over single player versus multiplayer was back in the news after EA announced that they were closing their long time, their long time subsidiary, Visceral Studios, and their Star Wars game is being shuffled over to EA Vancouver. And when you boil it down, the reasons that EA gave for shutting Visceral down and redesigning its Star Wars game are pretty similar to what Hare is saying. EA sent a statement that industry trends are shifting and not as many players are going to play a linear story-driven game. And that's where a lot of gamers cried, BULLSHIT! Them's fighting words. Some developers did too. In the aftermath of EA shuttering Visceral, several developers spoke out in favor of single player games. Ken Levine, for instance, who is famous for creating the Bioshock series, said in a tweet, I've always loved single player games, and I always will. But others have basically said the same thing as hair, that there's just so much money in multiplayer that the revenues can be astronomical compared to their single player counterparts. After all, nobody's gonna spend, and we come right back to it, $15,000 in a single player game, unless they just really hate the AI or really love the game that they buy at $15,000 worth of times? I love free games. How much money have I spent on League of Legends and Hearthstone? Let's not talk about it. Exactly. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bioware's next game, Anthem, releases next year, and it definitely sounds like it's gonna have multiplayer elements. It's been advertised as being built around a live service with a big emphasis on cooperative play. Of course, while Hare's comments were specifically about EA, there's no denying that EA is a massive player in the games industry, and if it's turning away from single player games, there's a chance that the others are too. Please don't. Please, please, we beg of you. Really, please, just one, give me one moment here. Don't leave single player games. Don't, don't do it. We'll have to wait and see how this shakes out. Industry trends come and go. I mean, remember how MMOs were all the rage in the 2000s? Yeah. 
but making money trumps everything else and it seems like for lots of publishers at least the best way to do that is through multiplayer games and microtransactions uh, in my opinion unfortunately and if you don't like it it's more important than ever to support games that reject the whole microtransactions philosophy because in the end money talks so buy a car instead of card packs so what do you guys think of ea possibly done with single player games for the time being, let us know in the comments. And for all of your gaming news, be sure to like this video. And if you're new around here, subscribe to The Know because that's just too much darn money to be made in multiplayer. Wait, let me redo that. I think I said that's instead of theirs. Manveer Air? Hair. Hair, gotcha. He added they don't actually care what the players want, they care what the pairs will play for. Pay for, fuck. He added they don't actually care what the players want, they care about what the pairs, players will pay.